when you're going to Ukraine, you have to also consider the program that you're going to study for, reason being that uh, they don't offer all programs in English. Uh, most of the programs take place in Ukrainian or Russian language, so you always have to be considerate with that as well. So we do, they still do have a, a wide range of programs that actually are offered in English. For example, medicine, economics, law, management, computer science, many other engineering courses, you're going to get all that in English. You have to consider where you're going to make your application and how you're going to make your application. So there are a few universities that actually have uh, online application. So you can just log on to their website, um, make your application over there and the process goes like this. So you make your application with them, send them your school documents, your passport copy and after that they send you back a reply whether you're eligible to study in the university or not uh, second thing after they've uh, given you your reply they're going to issue you an invitation letter through which you're going to apply for your visa at the embassy of ukraine in kenya because that is the nearest place in east africa that you can go for uh, visa application If you would like to know more about the living expenses, tuition fees, tuition fees range from about $1,500 to the highest being approximately $6,000, which would be for medical programs. And then living expenses, uh, if you're considering living expenses in a small city, an apartment will cost you up to $200 a month. Uh, yeah about two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars a month it's not gonna exceed that amount yeah we do have uh indian community over there we have actually the largest uh, amount of students that come every year are from india to begin with and then we also have a muslim community over there Weather in Ukraine, uh, it's normally cold, very, very cold during winter. Uh, summer is, it's not that hot like Dar, Dar Salaam's heat, but we still get up to 25 degrees, 26 degrees, also depending on the city that you're living in. If you're living in the western side of Ukraine, it's uh, a bit more warmer compared to the eastern side the eastern side is more to russia which makes it very cold especially during winters like currently they're facing minus 20 degrees so it's very cold on the western side come uh, sorry to on the eastern side compared to the western side if you want more career advice not only about ukraine but about any other country that you're considering going to study please make sure to contact careers hub because they're really uh, one of the most reliable people that you can go to for advice they have their instagram facebook careers hub so make sure to follow them and just contact them if you have any inquiries even if you want to know further about ukraine you can contact them so that they can give you advice or even if you want to know more about other options that you have please be sure to follow them